day to mourn a great Kenyan. I've known Honore Buaringo since the year 1988, when I was a student, a high school student, and he was a cabinet minister. I happened to have been in school, a classmate of one of his sons, Peter Castro Caroli Olo Aringo, somebody whom he named, a child he named after himself. So Caroli, Austin here, who was at Maseno, and Tom, who was at Kabarak then, we were all classmates. We did A-levels together and we were here mates. That's when I met Olo Aringo. But one thing with him is that he was a very, very simple man. Then, you would not know that he was a minister. And he would relate with these sons of his in a very seamless manner. You would think they are brothers as opposed to being father and son. And those of us who are also friends to his sons found it easy also to relate with a cabinet secretary while we are in the position of students. That was humility in Oloa Ringo for you. Since that time, I've been close to this family, all through. I remember later on in the year 2003, when Oloa Ringo was the vice chair of the Parliamentary Service Commission, and I was then a consultant. He reached out to me, and he gave me one of my first major consultancies to develop the organization structures of the National Assembly, courtesy of the Parliamentary Service Commission. And I vividly want to thank him for that. I owe him a great debt of gratitude for that. Later on, when my friend, his son, Caroli, came from the U.S. and he was sickly, I kept close touch with Oloa Ringo. Up to the time Caroli passed on three years ago. But this year, on 24th of March, out of my own volition, I decided to go and visit him at his Nairobi residence on Riverside Drive. And I remember Mama Rosemary was there, and we spent the whole afternoon just talking away, chatting, and he guided me on a lot of issues as a father. A lot of issues as a father. As we eulogize this great man, I want us to remember him for three major milestones as Kenyans. One, 844. Two, the Constituency Development Fund. Three, the Parliamentary Service Commission. But most importantly, there are about four values or virtues that we would remember Oloa Ringo for. One, courage. Two, charisma. Three, eloquence. And four, integrity. If there is anything that we need to emulate from Oloa Ringo, it is those four virtues. May the Almighty God rest the soul of this great man in peace.